Hi, everybody. a little nervous for this because I haven't done a live in geez forever and I decided to just keep things simple and the funny thing was I made a point of emailing everybody and letting them know what the zoom address was reminding them what the the day and time was and where to go look to figure it out for their time zone but there was one minor detail that I forgot and you reminded me of it just before today and that was that I didn't send, ever send you the link to the Zoom event. <laughs> oh! Hold on, Joe. Sure. <gasps> Hold on, Joe. Somebody's just, a chair's just fought broken. Are you all right? Oh, my God. I'm so... <laughs> oh, dear. Dear, dear, dear. Uh, all right. Everything okay there? I think we're good. <laughs> okay, good. a moment here if you don't mind okay. okay so everybody the gentleman that you saw on screen just a moment ago his name is Xavier I'd like to introduce him officially to everyone even though there was a time when I made a video and it was something that I did for the purpose of helping people find topics on Blossom's channel there were a number of questions that were coming up and I thought maybe the video would be a good idea and I made the video but the thing was that I leveraged all the good work that this gentleman did. So I wanted to formally introduce Xavier to the crowd because his work has been so instrumental in my ability in my assistant, my associate producer's ability to locate information on Blossom's website in order to be able to provide, let's say, um, the best of Federation of Light 
uh, videos, etc., that we've created. Anyway, Xavier, welcome, and I appreciate all the work that you've done. Thank you. Thank you, and thanks for having me. Hi, Blossom. Nice. To Hello, talk. nice to meet you. Yeah. In, in person, not. Yes, yeah, sort of. <laughs> Xavier, well, Joe, and I really wanted to thank you so much. The work for people that don't know here, Xavier has index all the channelings over all the years and so when you want to find anything that the federation have said and spoken about you can find it because of this gentleman who has spent years <laughs> just well, doing this from his heart to help us all so we're all nodding your heads our heads to you xavier thank uh, you i'm so happy to be part of it and uh initially as you know blossom it was a means to find the topic and you said, good luck. And uh, in the process of searching, I I said, why can't I do this for everybody? It's and so... uh, it's been a labor of love. And I'm so happy to hear Joe is using it. And everyone uh, is getting some use out of it. And from what the FOL told me, that it will be used in, in a bigger, grander fashion later on. And yeah. that's and wonderful. It's... It's so helpful for me because when people write in and say, oh, can you ask them about this? And I'll say, oh, they've already spoken about that. <laughs> just go to this link because of you, Perfect. you know, so it's been so helpful. And I do just want to say, <laughs> I'm calling you Xavier now, but in my head when he first introduced himself, I just want to call you Xavier because yeah. it sounds so Xavier. Pretty just fancy. <laughs> <laughs> so good. But I know when you've told me it's Xavier, but again, from all of our hearts, Xavier, thank you oh, so, so much um, for all you've done. Well, thank you. And nice to meet you. Yes. Nice to, uh, as, as opposed to just typing. You yes. Know, it's nice yes. to hear you yes. and cool. speak to you finally. Good job. Good job. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for joining Enjoy. Xavier. Enjoy. Thank You're you. Welcome. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. What and happens now, Joe? <laughs> now, what I'd like to do is ask the people who are on the call with us on Zoom, if they have any questions that they would like to ask, I would ask them to go ahead and type it in the chat. If you haven't found it, take a moment to go find it. But here's a caveat. Start it out with the word question, because I'm sure there's a lot of messages going to come up. And secondly, make it short, maybe a couple sentences. Um, if it's a paragraph, I'll probably pass it over in order to look for something that's a little shorter. Okay, so we're going to okay. spend the next few minutes to do that. While and that's going on, Joe, shall mm -hmm. I just have a little, shall I Absol do a little chat? Absolutely. Might as well while I'm here. <laughs> I was just, I came down, so I was upstairs in my bedroom while everybody came here, and it's just amazing, a sea of smiling faces here in my house who are going to lift the vibration of my house because they're here, which is just amazing and fill my house with love. But really, just to say that today, you know, I was a little like you, a little bit nervous <clears throat> last night, and I thought, what are you, what are you doing this for, Blossom? You know, what, what is this all about? And it was like, we are all getting together as one to raise the vibration, to lift our own vibrations and to lift the whole. And so I just got really excited. I thought, what well, isn't that no need to be nervous, Blossom? You know what I mean? It's not like I'm on stage and I'm going to forget my lines or anything like that. So it's just, we're just everyone and everybody on Zoom. I just think it is fantastic that we're just all together, all going in the same direction, just allowing us all to just unite and just get it, that we're all feeling the same and we all want to change this world into a better place. And that's why we're here today. And that's what we're going to do, Joe. <laughs> that's <laughs> and right, everybody awesome. there. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No and questions? with that said, welcome everybody to the New Year's Eve celebration for 2022 with Blossom Goodchild. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Blossom, you ready for the first question? Yes, oh good God, yeah. Okay, here we go. This is asked by KC. And KC asks, what are the big themes of 2023? Well... <laughs> Do you know, I did an interview when I started doing all of this years and years ago, and I had an interview with a chap in America, and every question he asked me, I went, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> it was terrible. But this, the big things for 2023, all I can do is answer what I 
know, you know, what I feel. And I think the big things for 2023, I can't tell you what's going to happen. I can, I don't think anybody can really tell us what, what's going to happen in this following year. And probably every answer I'll give when a question is asked is that what is going to happen in 2023 is that we are all going to move into a higher vibration of ourselves because of ourselves. You know, we can only do it ourselves, And then through that, we can shine that light, be that example, and pass that on to everybody else. And I really do feel that if we just concentrate on that, that's all we need to do. We don't need to know if there's going to be another lockdown, as maybe, you know, people, it's funny because with the fungus thing, you know, the Fergus fungus thing, uh, it's like, um, it's just like, I've I've had so many people write in to say, oh, and there's a thing about a fungus going around, you know, and that's been going on for about six months, different things. And could this be the lockdown? People are saying there's climate change and that's going to be the next lockdown. And there's, you know, another extreme virus coming and that's going to be the next lockdown. And it's like, so what, basically? So bloody what? You know, what are we going to do? Until it's here, then we'll deal with it then. But until it's still in the future, we just got to get on just enjoying ourselves, just making this planet high, I reckon. So you're doing that, Joe. Why? <laughs> How? <laughs> He's gone. Isn't Somebody he? sent me a message saying that people were in the waiting room, um, oh, waiting to right. get in. And I, I'll have to look for it and see if I can let them in while you're responding to this next question. Is that cool? Okay. Okay. Right. So I've, I've, I've finished the last one, have I? Okay. <laughs> This is from Jackie. She right. says, how do you know the channeling source is, federation, is the Federation and not your higher self? She says, she channels, but sometimes wonders if she's just making it up. Oh, I can go along with that. I can sort of go along with that. With that. It's very much, um, I, one reason I know it's the Federation <laughs> is because they use words that I don't know what they mean. <laughs> Uh, so in a particular sentence, you know, that's coming to, because what happens is I sit at my computer and I tune in and I go, okay, you know, and say, this is for the greater good, etc. And so I go, hi guys, how are we? And then literally straight away, I'll get this. It's just telepathy. There's no voice. I wish it was a voice because it would be so much easier to go, oh, okay, but it's not, it's telepathy, and it just comes through, so I type it down as quick as I can, and then I have to go through all the, the errors later on, and so, and then I'll go, oh, da, 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 and then the next, you know, they'll, we'll have this telepathic conversation. There are words that they bring through sometimes, and I think, ooh, I've heard of that word. I sort of know what it means, but is it appropriate in this sentence? I used to stop and quickly Google it and go, oh, perfect. <laughs> well, that, yes, that means. And now I don't. I just leave it with a question mark. And inevitably, it is always, always the perfect word that is needed for that particular sentence. I also know it is the love that they bring through. And I'm not saying that they aren't all of our higher selves, you know, because if we're all this one, then they they say they are a consciousness and we're all part of that. So perhaps I am channeling some of myself. I, I You know, I you don't know. There have been times not and very rarely these days but in the past there have been times when I've been <laughs> there's been times when I've been literally a couple of sentences in and a word or something will come and I go no not them and I can it's just a word of negativity or something like that and I just know and I just abort it and I just do it again an, another day you can just tell um, you know, that it's not, it's a bit off or, or something like that. So, you know, it, I, I 
for me, I that is my sort of, and I've had a thing before in the past <laughs> where somebody has sent a clip from the Federation, you know, and they've, they'll copy out a little clip and send it around to their friends or something like that, a profound <laughs> And they've sent it to me and I've read it. I go, oh, that's very nice. And I go, oh, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> we did that. It's one of ours. <laughs> like, oh, very profound. And when I do read it back, when I read things back after, you know, a long time or I don't really go back in the channelings, but if something comes up, then I, it, I, when I read it with fresh eyes, I just know I can get, I know it sounds funny, but I can get what other people get. But when I'm just talking to them, like this as i've said before there's no light column in front of me saying take this down blossom good child like oh, right. there's none of that you know it's it, it would be so easy if that was the go but it's purely telepathic so you just you know if it, with all channelers as everybody knows and there's probably many people here that you know they just tune in and write things down or whatever you just have to trust yourself and knowing that your intention is coming from love you know and and just go with that really beautiful <laughs> <laughs> number two <laughs> yeah yeah yep <clears throat> tapping into how we feel who we are who we're being yeah <clears throat> somebody asks this is alexi when will the weather become happily normal in australia and the world <laughs> well Honestly, for those who aren't in Australia, let us tell you, the weather is the most bizarre it's ever been. We're in the height of summer. And the other day, well, yesterday, I went out in my garden, I nearly got knocked over by a gust of freezing wind that came from nowhere. And people are rugging up and putting cardigans on in the evening. It can be, it's the strangest weather we have ever had. And again, I, no offence to anybody, but there's no point in asking me these questions. <laughs> I don't know. And the Federation, this is the thing, the Federation, many people write in saying, can you ask them this? Can you ask them that? And I know straight away, with respect to that, they're not going to answer that question. They, And I don't mean that rudely at all, but about the weather. They're not going to answer that question because that's not why they are coming through. You know, they are coming through to just to help us move on up and we're yes I, I don't know what everybody else feels but my opinion is we're definitely the weather is controlled you know without question it for, for me it is controlled and whenever there's a lovely event on it rains you know it's just <laughs> there's just so much that I just think this is completely up the up the swaddy or whatever <laughs> we'd say so you know I I for me I feel it's definitely controlled and I have no idea I guess all that will stop when the truth comes out. And if somebody asks me when that's going to be, <laughs> forget it. Because, you know, we don't know. We just don't know. You know, you mentioned that uh, you just don't know. Somebody somebody just asked, when will the envelopes be delivered? Oh. And before you respond to that, I just want to say that I got, I got the nudge in response to that myself when I was reading the part of the FOL when they spoke about things being a little crazy at 23 this coming year and that oh, we will end up finding ourselves wanting or mm -hmm. or in a position to help others and and i associated that with the envelope but that's me yeah. interpreting that and i'd like to hear from you of course okay well um some people say they've already they feel they've already had their envelopes and it's been opened um, mm -hmm. and perhaps they have who who am i to say and for, does everybody here know what we're talking about with the envelopes <clears throat> and just for those who don't know the envelopes are you know the federation say that we will we will we'll all be given envelopes sort of in our heads and in those envelopes when it's time for us to open them will be our instructions, basically, for each individual person. So we'll know what to do. And I feel that's more like we're all knowing what to do now already, I feel. We're just getting higher and higher in knowing ourselves and who we are, that it's just we're getting that. And I don't think the envelope is going to open and say, Okay, Blossom Good Child, you've got to go to 74 <laughs> London Road. And it, you know, it's just going to, it's going to be, I think, the way to put it is a further awakening of ourselves and an understanding because <clears throat> so many people 
right concern like I just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm so concerned that I'm not doing my bit I'm not playing my part but the thing is we all are you wouldn't be here today all these people wouldn't be you know we've got such a community here everywhere so many people all around the world now are playing their part you know and so I think when these envelopes do come I sort of want to say oh, <laughs> the events when such a thing as the event arrives uh, heaven knows when that'll be but uh, when it cut you know I feel that when a huge thing takes place whatever you want to call it and I do fully in my heart I believe that is going to happen sometimes I think well I might be dead and gone by then I it's it's everywhere, that thing about something taking place. I feel when it does happen, if we're around, I feel that it'll be then that the, and I could be wrong because they won't tell us. We, if, if we're told certain things, we mess everything up because we're planning like, oh, well, if I do that and I do that, and we're changing the course of things because we know. Whereas if we don't know, we're just carrying on doing our very, very best until it happens. And then as far as I'm aware, we'll know when our envelopes come because we'll just be guided <clears throat> to think, you know, do you know what? I'm going to go and do this when you've never wanted to do this in your life before. Or I'm going to go and do this and people will come to you. I think that's a really big thing, Joe, is that people say, I, you know, I don't know what to do, that people will find your light. When everything goes tits up big time, there will be so many people who do not know what is taking place at all. And I think that through that, all of us people who do understand what's happening, those people will be guided toward our lights in order to be assisted. <clears throat> Oh, you've gone off. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, Blossom. So, anyway, I like the way you put that. Ultimately, <laughs> anyway, whatever. Won't that, won't that be something? <laughs> so, I have another question here. Um, who is this that asked? Naomi. Naomi would like to know what do we need to let go of to um, to move through in order to prepare for our expansion in 23, 2023? worrying about it i would say <laughs> let go of all concern i think that is the huge huge thing is just at the end of the day we could write down so many things that we could if we chose to we could be worried about you know so many things that are put out there and even about well will i sh the number of people that say to me should i store some food should I be, well, if you saw my larder, I, I've got nothing in there. <laughs> Bit of dog food. I just, I did it once and it all went past its sell by date years ago, you know, and all that kind of thing. I am not knocking people doing it because I think, oh, really, I should get a bit of bread and butter together just in case type of thing. But they're all things that I think, say if that was going to happen, my thing is, is this is a divine plan. And if it's divine, then we're not going to be left to starve. So if we were all to be shut indoors and not be allowed out, then the military or somebody would have food drop-offs, be it a can, tan, can, tan of baked beans. We will be looked after because it is a divine plan. And so I just think if we follow that through the whole time that we are fulfilling a divine plan, then there is nothing to worry about, you know, so to let go with respect, Naomi, of what? What is it you need to let go of? Only you know that. And so it's, you just have to, I just think the best way that we can be of service in this world right now is to keep laughing our way through, truly, because it, nothing makes any sense at all the conversations I have with so many people and going, this is absolutely this world. It's absolutely 
It, you know, it, it really is. And so you've got to laugh because there is nothing, no other way through it. You, you can't take it seriously, you know. But what is the point? You've got to laugh yourself through it, really. And so, you know, letting go, I think, is a very personal thing of, of letting go of your fears and your worries and just know that you're here because you were chosen to be here. You volunteered and you were chosen and we're getting on with it, you know, and I think we're all doing a bloody good job, really, quite honestly. I'll second that. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Kate would like to know, will we be able to heal, heal ourselves through our own abilities or are there med beds in our near future? Um, I'd say yes to both qu questions. We can all heal ourselves now. What, what are we waiting for? You know, it's only our belief system and programming that says, oh, well, I, you know, my, my finger is broken, but, what, you know, I'll have to wait weeks to get it better or, or whatever. I really, I fully am con I'm so convinced that we just know how to heal ourselves, all of us, but we're just programmed so deeply to believe that we can't, that we think we can't. E even though we know, we, those of us that know we can, we still think we can't somewhere in the back there. Otherwise we would, you know what I mean? But we can, I just really believe that. And the med beds, you know, for me, it's like I've talked about the iTerra wands, which are, you know, terahertz e um, energy. There's down the road, I've talked about the new scalar EES system just down the road from my house. Um, you know, that is all part of this whole new future that is coming to us. And especially with the system, the EES system, that nobody charges you're not allowed to charge over a certain amount of money. So it's not about money. It's about all these people that have bought these. And there's so many people all over the world buying systems to help others. It's not about money. They're doing it because they know it works and they want to help people. So I think this is definitely a way forward in the future. You know, when I think there's one at the bottom of my road, it's just incredible. And they're going up everywhere. So I think that plus then more, you know, the the other cut, all sorts of energy, zero point energy, et cetera, which I don't understand. It's just going to be the way of the future. And I, with all respect to all medical people, you know, I, I'd be looking into working at one of those because the, the, so many people will be going to those instead of thinking I better shove some pills down my neck. Because, because it's this kind of energy that is the truth. It's not poisoning us, it's healing us. Few more, few, maybe one more question, and I feel the old Indian's getting a bit impatient. Beautiful. Like, Looking forward to hearing from him. Yeah. And in, in the meantime, Ava would like to know, what country would be best to relocate to for the coming years? <laughs> I wouldn't say country, I'd say another planet, really. Yeah, what? <laughs> I couldn't say because we just don't know, do we? You know, you, you've got to I think many people feel driven to move to other places. They just get the nod within and they think, you know what, I'm going to move to so-and-so. And they do because I think everybody is being positioned, you know, as ridiculous as it sounds, but we're being positioned as to where we need our energy and where we've agreed for our energy to be at this time so um you know just go where, go wherever blows your blouse up i second <laughs> that too yeah. i like that very much yes yeah yeah okay joe so are we good to are we done is there is, do you feel that's good to time yes wise? um i'm sure people would love to have more questions asked but for the time being yeah. and to keep things moving along yeah we'll do that because maybe there'll be time at the end because we've got till 12 so we'll Mm -hmm. but we best get him in eh? great <laughs> he's just driven up on his horse <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay everybody so if we just if everybody just like take a few deep breaths and we'll just change the energy well not that we change the energy but just sort of help him through help me through and i'll see you on the other side Joe. it might be that from here if I'm assuming the Federation will come in, but they usually come in with White Cloud as a gatekeeper. So they'll come in straight after as me, as I think, as opposed to me coming back in and then the Federation. So I think it might be a continuation of the channeling, if that's all right. Makes sense. We will allow it to flow as it 
shows to us, I think uh, it'll be pretty easy to tell. Downstream. All right, then. Okay, everybody. (laughs) Ta-ta. A very warm, loving, heartfelt welcome to each and every one of you that is present here today in Blossom's abode. And for those that are online, it could be in the middle of the night for many. And for all those who are to listen to these words further down the track. My friends, I am so excited because the vibrations over the last five or six months upon your planet have changed greatly. You are lifting up the darkness out of its roots and you are bringing it to light and you are sending it out so that it is dispersed and shall never again return to your planet. You, each one of you are accomplishing this because this is what you came to do. And so there is much excitement about this for this coming year. Because as each one feels the higher vibration within themselves, there is so much change within that person. And as they feel it, and they think, this is magnificent, I feel so high, What one must know is that there is so much more to come. There are times when Blossom feels very high that she needs some grounding, some cement blocks on her feet because she is feeling so good, so joyous, so loving. Yet there is more and more and more and more and more of that to come for each and every one. And it is important, my friends, to feel it in your heart. And when you feel this joy, this expansion of your soul self, As you feel your heart getting bigger and bigger and bigger and filling up with this love energy, then enjoy it. Thank yourself for allowing yourself to be in the position you have brought yourself to. And when you thank yourself more and more and more, and you skip and you hop and you laugh as you go about your day, 
No. <coughs> Excuse me, Owas. That in doing so, you are changing the world. And then it is that as you go out and you meet with friends, or you are in a traffic jam, or you are in a shopping line, send that love to those people. Imagine yourself as a magnet, and all these people are saying, what is going on? What is going on? Because they are feeling the strength of your love. And this is how you make a difference. How simple, how simple is this divine plan? You are here because you chose to be here. And as I say many, many times, you are doing an incredible job. There are many, many times when many of you wonder why you came. One moment, please. <coughs> Sometimes I annoy Blossom's voice box. <coughs> There are so many times when you feel that you do not have the strength to go on. And you wonder, when, when, when is something going to happen? When is it going to change? All these things you hear about that are going on behind the scenes that you know nothing of. And you are told that one day the truth will come out. I promise you, my friends, the truth coming out is part of the divine plan. And this is why many of you are already aware of some of the truth. I say some, because if you can understand the vastness of the change that is to take place, because everything, everything you thought you knew as truth, apart from love, is going to surprise you when you realize that it was not. So many feeds that you follow, so many things that are put out there are of truth, of non-truth, of a bit of both. And Blossom herself has trouble in discerning which is which. And that is a thing, if you like, that concerns her because she might see something that she is sent and she thinks, oh, that is very exciting. And then she'll find out later that it was of the computerized uh, description, etc., and it wasn't real. And so she wonders, how can the Federation and I, we say you will feel it in your heart. You will feel the truth in your heart, but Blossom says she can't. She can't decipher. She can't discern. With some things, yes, immediately you can tell. You just do not bother even looking into it. But with other things, you have to question. And at the end of the day, my friends, at this point in the game, because it is a game, you cannot know what is to come. And as I said, it would change things if you were to know too soon. But one thing that you do know of, and you know what it is I am going to say, you know, each and every one of you, you know what love is. You don't have to question that. You don't have to say, is this truth or not? Because love is love, is love, is love. 
is love. And you, each one of you, are love. Nothing else. What else do you need to know? What does it matter? What else you find out, truthfully? If you were to spend the rest of your life just knowing that love is your truth, and you hold on to that knowing with every breath you take, and every thing that you hear or you read, as long as you know and you hold on to the fact, the truth, the knowing that you are love, what more do you need to do? What else did you come down here for? Nothing. Because knowing that truth as an individual, as yourself, knowing that truth, everything that you will be guided to do will be in, as, through, of love. So there is, somebody asked a question of what is there to let go of? Let go of fear. That is the biggest thing, my friends. Fear. Blossom is aware of many that write in, and they are fearful souls because they have heard this, they have heard that. And again, what benefit does it serve you to be in fear? What benefit does it serve anybody around you to be in fear, yet to be in love. It serves yourself and it serves the whole, always without question. And so I would say to all souls, let go of triviality. The little things that wind you up, really. Blossom has a saying to people who get stressed out about things. Will this matter on your deathbed? And she has not come across one person that has said, yes, it will. Because on your deathbed, you will be looking forward to leaving this planet and going somewhere else that is of a higher vibration. You will not be thinking, I wish so-and-so had said, had not said that to me. I wish I had not said that to somebody else. I wish I had not bought that house. I wish I, so many things. Let go of the overthinking. All the time, which we are doing later, which I am so excited about, of saying the mantra. When you are in fear, say the mantra. Just close your eyes and say the mantra to bring you back into your balance. To bring you back into your truth. And when something takes place outside of your home, a circumstance, whatever it may be, something you see on your uh, technical screens, etc. If you see something that upsets your equilibrium, you are strong enough now to let that last one second as it's gone in. And then in the next second, you send it away. Uh, Mr. Joe Blossom spoke of before, of when she has a thought and she knows it is not from her or it is a thought she does not like that may be from her. Immediately, 
she imagines a tennis ball and she throws it up in the air with that thought contained in it and she hits it into kingdom come and then it is gone and you replace it with the nice, the opposite of that thought. Because in every thought that you have that you feel is of a lower vibration or anything you experience that is of a lower vibration, there is the opposite. And that is, my friends, a good thing to remember because for all the darkness that is presenting itself, in every way it can, because it is fighting for its life, because it knows it has lost. For every thought or something you see, know, but you are not shown it, that there is the opposite. Something beautiful somewhere else is taking place. So as low as something may seem on a vibration to you, rejoice in that because it is yes, because somewhere else then something really, really, really good is taking place. And take your mind to that. Do not allow yourselves to focus on that which does not serve. Uh, but one moment, if we may. We were just um, checking out because it, it, we are also aware of time, uh, but also uh, we are aware that uh, the Federation, I can come in and speak later <clears throat> if there is time, etc., and also I shall be conducting of the mantra. So uh, I am feeling now that it's, uh, if it is appropriate for the Federation of Light to uh, please, descend please do. into the hearts and into the chakras, the crown chakras of everybody present, everybody listening to these words, to again, Take in the deep breaths and feel the love that they bring through and allow it to fill your heart. And I am just uh, preparing to you that it may be uh, for you, it will not be that the sound has been muted. It may be that there might be a little while of them just taking the time to send love energy through, but also to bear in mind that uh, they are aware of the energy required in the room and also to, to reach those because it is live, if you understand that there is more energy required. So we will just see how it goes and uh, we will take it from there. Many, many thanks.
we will just take a short while just for all the energies present in this moment of time to blend with one another. Dearest, dearest souls, take a deep breath in now and feel the love for each and every one and the love you have for yourself. Thank yourself so deeply the place you have brought yourselves to. Here, in this moment of time, feel angels, guides, loved ones who no longer reside upon your planet surrounding you all as if they are lifting you up onto their shoulders and parading you around applauding you honoring you for being so strong Being so brave for marching forward, no matter what you are presented with, you pick yourselves up. Do you not? You pick yourselves up time after time after time and you pull your resources back into your being and you remember what we have been asking you to remember who you are. We do not ask you to remember what you did last week or last year. We are not concerned, and nor should you be concerned with what has taken place. All you need to know all you need to think about is remembering who you are in essence of love itself and visualizing what you are going to do with your future. We do not think that any one of you would be planning a future of gloom and doom in your visualization. Why would one do of that? But we know you are so sure of the love you are now that all that you project for what is to come will be of the most glorious circumstances, the most wondrous happenings that you can 
possibly conjure up. And that, dearest ones, that we ask you to focus upon. Let go, let go, let go of that which is presented to you that does not serve. And we have spoken before in earnest because we are not saying to you that that which is to come is to be the same as that which you are visualizing in your beautiful thoughts. And that is when you have to be so strong. But we say that that is when you remember who you are. When these things are displayed, when these atrocities are announced, when so much that you could not believe you have been deceived by, is presented, we understand this is not an easy task. This is why you, who are the strongest of the strong, were chosen to be here, down here upon your planet. Because you are the ones that are strong enough to change that vibration when there is chaos all around from people who do not have an inkling as to what is taking place. But you do. All of you who are awakened to yourself, you came beforehand to prepare the way. This is what you're doing. And this is what you shall do. And as the words of a white cloud came through, not only the joy and love will you feel in yourself, you will be blown away by the strength that you find within yourself. Some of you already feel some of that strength. But just you wait, dearest souls, just you wait to feel that strength that accompanies the love that you are. Feel that now in this moment. Feel. The strength you are now and know there is no stopping you. More and more and more and more is to fill your being through that you serve each other. You are the way showers. You are the beacons, the lighthouses. Be vigilant in making sure your batteries are always charged. That is your responsibility. 
blossom. We very rarely say of her name, we call her the vessel which we are using. And today we say blossom speaks many times of you would not dream of letting your phone run out of battery. The world indeed might end if you did. What about yourselves? Which do you choose to put first, your phone or yourselves? Charge yourselves up. Give yourselves the intimacy of yourself. Tell yourselves how proud you are of yourself. This is so important. You do not need to hear it from anybody else. You do not need confirmation from anybody else to tell you how wonderful you are. Because you are, and you should by now know it. We're trusting you to do so on this matter. Would you not all agree? Blossom and feel the, the strange energy when we say of her name. But she is also aware that something else now is to take place. She thinks she knows and she shall be brave. But just give us. A few seconds for us to let the penny drop into Blossom's download. And of course, she, being who she is, is saying, uh-oh. <laughs> let us see, let us see, let us see, dear friend. We ask that you take in three deep breaths in your own time. And we ask that you visualize a white light pouring, streaming down into your crown chakra from above, full of sparkly stars streaming down into your body. Feel this truth. Feel the energy that is coming to you right now from a higher degree, from a higher vibrational point that you in this presence are allowing yourself to open up to and allow this higher vibration to come and stream through your being, straight into your heart. Feel it. Feel all beings together as one, loving you, loving each other, you are one. The most phenomenal oneness. That is love. Love. Love is filling your being. 
with so much joy, so much strength, so much peace of heart and mind. Feel it, dear souls, feel us, feel you, feel the love in as of every living thing. We are one light. One divine light that is love, for there is nothing else. You are that love. We are that. Yakanyakitsnihatu. Kea kea tula, hea meta, hea, hea mea, oia te, oia te ma, siona te ta, siona te ta, siona te tia, hea, ki kukaya ti, to, 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 siona he, siona hea, siona he kuya te, ha, 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 ya na te o. We love you, love loves you, we thank you, we bless you for allowing us to be. to be able to come through this vessel to communicate with you. Thank you. Us, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it is now, it is me back again. I feel, and Blossom knows, that this would be the perfect time for us 
to start saying of the mantra together because we are all built up enough in energy now to send this love out to your planet. Not just your planet, but all planets, all things, everything, all, all that is love. And I ask for you not to be concerned, because I do not keep to the beat of a drum. So it is, if you prefer to say it in your mind, then do so. But there is strength in the voice. So, and there is a tone of the voice, a resonance of love as it comes through you. So do not worry if you are all getting out of sync. Hold on to what feels all right for you. But at the same time, Blossom is sort of saying, try your best to keep with me, because she might fall off her perch with concentration otherwise. So we shall begin. Let us just check. It is working perfectly, Joe, time-wise. Blossom always sees to that. My yeah. friends... Joe and everybody with us online, to each and every being that is with us now or later on in a recording, let us now in this moment change the world. We will probably be doing this for about 10 to 15 minutes, so you are aware. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love. I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love. I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love. I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love. I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am, I am the light, 
I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. <coughs> I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am, I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. 
I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. And now we are going to change it for the last few minutes to we are the light. We are the love. Together, we are the truth. We are. We are the light. We are the love. We are the truth. We are. We are the light. We are the love. We are the truth. We are. We are the light. We are the love. We are the truth. We are, we are the light. We are the love. We are the truth. We are, we are the light. We are the love. We are the truth. We are, we are the light. We are the love. We are the truth. We are. We are the light. We are the love. We are the truth. We are. We are the light. We are the love. We are the truth. We are. We are the light. We are the love. We are the truth. We are. We are the light. We are the love. We are the truth. We are. We are the light. We are the love. We are the truth. We are last one. We are the light. We are the love. We are the truth. We are I am. We just changed the world. My friends, this feeling that you are feeling now of love and joy and togetherness, that is what it is all about, togetherness. Knowing that you are never, ever, ever alone. So many of you feel that you are, but you are not. You cannot be alone, for we are all part of the same being, the being of love. We are being love. And so let Blossom do a time check. Joe. Uh, we yes. have 10 minutes, do we not? Yes, we do. What, what would you like to do? I'll put the ball in your court. Actually, but, White Cloud. Yes. You know what I would really love to do? Yes. Would be a few 
stanzas of what you just did with the people in your room? And is it crazy as the energy may, may be that we can at least give it a shot with all the people who joined us here on Zoom as a way that of you... saying thank you? Wait, Blossom needs to come in. Do you mean that you could get a shot of everybody? No. No, what did well, you say? What I'm Me saying to shoot I, everybody? What? <laughs> I could un unmute everyone. Unmute everybody? Well, nobody's online. You... My, my camera just uh, turned off, but well, that's not a big deal. You've disappeared. You've gone. Um, um, I can't unmute anybody, Joe, because we're, there's nobody mute. There's nobody on, on a computer. They're just all sitting in this room via my mic. Oh, but I was referring to the people in the meeting. In the Zoom meeting, Blossom. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Oh, duh. Yes. Yeah. I was, I was getting... Do, oh, let's do it. I was getting let's some people asking me if we could. So. Yeah, Joe, Joe, can I just ask you, does it cut off at 12? Did it just stop this week no. at 12? No, we can continue. Oh, oh okay, that's okay, because For... that's sometimes what happens on Zoom. All right, yeah. well, let's do that, shall we? So okay. Let's try I'll it. I'll For... conduct. <laughs> Please do, and um, maybe we can get do it until we get ourselves into a nice rhythm for one or two or three times. I feel like it would be very satisfying to everyone who joins us. I think that would be an, an absolutely beautiful idea. And also I do, I do know that there's a few people that I would just like to thank as well at, at the end anyway. So um, let's do that to finish up with, shall we? Beautiful. How exciting. How exciting. Okay. 1,045 or so people all saying the mantra at the mm -hmm. same time all over the world. Now, everybody here in the Zoom meeting, before I unmute you, I don't recall if you you have to unmute yourself or not, but wherever you step in, please do your best to step in, you could say, within the cadence. And how I'd like to do it would be where Blossom says the phrase, and then we repeat it, and then she says it, and we repeat it, etc. And we may be able to develop a bit of a rhythm. We won't go for too long, but this just feels like the right thing to do since I was being asked. Here we go. Okay, Joe, I might just correct you there. <laughs> uh -huh. If I say it once, I think it would be better if I say it once and then I'll say it again and everybody joins in the second time because, and then we'll all say it together. Oh, okay. That, do you see what I mean? Okay, that works so for me. So we're all saying it at the same time. So I'll say it once for the rhythm. Okay. And then after that, everybody will all join in together. Is that it's good? It's a deal. Sure. Okay, it's a deal. Oh, okay. If I Every, say it, yeah, to say it, everybody, I please mind, better. please mind your background. Go, then, hold on, just one, one second. Hold on, just one second. Hold on, hold on, just one second. Okay, that was a little crazy already. So we're gonna do it one more time, and I'd like for everyone to mind your background. If you've got a lot of noise going on, do us a favor and just stay muted. Maybe that would be beneficial because this is really more for the greater group. And if you can't control your environment and quiet it down, then join us in spirit like we were with White Cloud just a moment ago. Here we go. Let's try it again. Okay, very good. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Blossom? Blossom? And, um, I think, we're, I think they might be getting a bunch of feedback. That doesn't help. Is that better? <laughs> It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Okay. It's a crazy idea, but we're doing it anyway. <laughs> Joe, where have you been? Where have you been? <laughs> hey, okay, everybody, quiet. Let's, quiet, let's go. Quiet, let's let's, quiet. Yeah, let's keep it quiet. Blossom, go for it. Blossom, go for it. Okay. I'm going to bring White Cloud back in. Okay, can everybody be quiet? I'm going to stop.
So I'm trying to mute everybody because that was like a terrible idea. <laughs> Blossom, are you still with me? I'm back. I'm back with you. My thing, I'm muted again. Okay. Should we scrap that? Yeah, let's scrap that. Yeah, that's sorry, guys. Sorry, hey, everybody. It was worth a shot. It was. Worth a it was. It, yeah, I, I totally forgot everybody all about faces. the feedback. You should see everybody's faces here. They're all they can do is hear. They can't see anything. So like right, a, right. I think there was a dog talking at some point. So it was. Yeah, you know, I heard dolphins. I think we might have to scrap that and just know Lions. that the um, that which we hummingbirds. Did was um was really <laughs> really really effective so okay. just I, I think um i would just like now if i may i wanted to thank you joe for all that you do you know and your beautiful sexy voice they're all going yeah <laughs> watch out <laughs> you've got a lot of fans here joe and all oh, over beautiful. the world Tell them saying, all I said thank, thank you, you. Mm -hmm. They can hear you. So oh. honestly, all that you do for everybody, because I've got all you on speaker, everybody, you're on speaker, so everybody Very can good. hear you. Yeah. And, well, um, but all that you do, all the work, you know, every single week, most weeks when I do the channeling and I send me you my recording and you mix it with your recording and you put so much love, there couldn't be anybody else who would be better to speak as the voice of the Federation of Light. Well, I think I'm getting a bit emotional. So, <laughs> so thank you, Joe, for all you do to help me. And it really is just beautiful. Thank you so much. And we thank Xavier, Xavier. And I want to thank also all the translator teams, the Galactic Channeling site to Keys and Louisa, who, you know, who run the site. And they they there's so many translators that translate not just my channelings, but so many other people's channelings, you know, into French, Russian, Japanese, it's uh, Dutch, German. It is just amazing. And all these people do it from the love. I don't pay them. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's just we don't like have a budget. They do this zero from budget. Zero budget here. So they do this. All these people do this for all of us and channelers and that from the love of their hearts and the difference it makes. I think on the Japanese one, there's something like 57,000 subscribers who listen in Japanese. You know, it just makes such a difference. There's so, it helps people to get the message, you know, from the Federation in all these different languages because kind people all over the world, as soon as a channeling comes through, they translate it and it goes up on the galactic channels. And I'm just so grateful to those people for doing that every single week and sometimes I might go oh I'm so sorry I was late and it's two weeks late. I'm like I'm glad you do it at all is is just a miracle you know so mm -hmm. I really want to, to thank those people and I wanted to thank Nicole who does my website and a man in England called Raj who whenever I have a technical hitch he just sorts it for me none of these people get paid they just do it from the love of their heart and I also wanted to thank like all the people that do all that in the postings, but all the people that are here today, all the people that are online, all the people that couldn't get online and support this, which I do, you know, I, I seem to find myself in this position where I have been given this gift and I do my best to, to, to get it out there. And the support and the love from people all over the world just blows me away truly there is i might get the odd dodgy email now you know mm -hmm. and the rest is full of love just people this community this tribe that we've brought together you know because they know it's truth and and they can feel it like i can you can feel it working within you mm -hmm. when you follow that which they ask us to do you know yeah. ask us to do we don't have to but we choose to and so i just really want to thank everybody for supporting me in this way because it, no point me being here if you didn't <laughs> you know who would i say you know it just it really I, I really do need people to know how grateful i truly truly am that um you know i'm given such support from from all around the world to help me to continue on doing what i do so I, I thank you very very much for that beautiful blossom i'd also like to add to it that um, there are occasionally people who reach out and <laughs> provide a, a nice gift a financial gift via donation no it's not expected and it is kind of a surprise when it does happen 
Um, so I just want to to say to everybody, actually, everyone who's commented, everyone who's um, provided their support, especially when there were occasional issues that arose, and they were supportive of us anyway. Um, everyone who showed up here with us here in the Zoom meeting, everyone who's on YouTube watching, thank you all so much for your support of us week to week, showing up and creating this community that you know there isn't a lot of interaction that goes on in the comments, at least not with Blossom and myself, but among one another, I see the conversations that take place. And that's a beautiful thing that we yeah. can all do that. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're doing it, people. We're, we are literally, we're doing what we came to do. That's what I feel now. I really have, it's taken us a while to get there and we'll continue on our journey. Yeah. But I, for me, I can really, really feel the difference now and I can get, I get it now. You know, and they said for, for ages, the Federation have said, when you get it, <laughs> and I feel I've got it now Beautiful. and and i'll well, carry on getting it type of thing you know so yeah to everybody you know just a huge huge thank you are we done joe uh, Can I, I, go? I, I feel that we are and for you it's new year's eve it's new year's eve it's midday new mm -hmm. year's eve and mm -hmm. the sun is shining and i asked everybody to bring their lunch um, and I hired all these chairs so they can take all their chairs out into the garden and eat their lunch and we can meet everybody and mingle Beautiful. and be with like-minded people. That's the thing. I think a lot of people, they don't have their next door neighbor or things like that, that they can talk about all this with. And so they find it very lonely sometimes. So it's lovely that we can all be together to, um, to chat amongst ourselves. Great and idea, the online possibly. community, as you say. So mm -hmm. to everybody, are we ready? Are we good to go, Joe? Yes, we yeah. are. Yes, we are. So thank want, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, everybody. Thank you. Okay. Everybody. Thank gonna, you, Joe. I'm, I'm going to unmute everybody and just let them say goodbye. I know it's going to yes, be crazy. Sure, sure. But then I'm going to cut it off and we're all just going to go. All right. All right. Thank you so <laughs> okay. much, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.